Hello all and welcome, and I am the Realist Philosopher and this is the Realist Den, where we're 100% raw, 100% real, 100% of the time, baby! Hoo-ah! <laughs> Hoo-ah! How y'all doing? Hope you're all doing good, fine, and well. So, yeah, I came across this video with this goofy, supposedly autistic kid named Desmond on the channel or the co-channel anyway, it seems to have two people on it, of some guy by the name of Michael Alleg. Now, if you all don't know who Michael Alleg is, this is a guy that murdered his uh, drug dealer, right? Got 17 years in prison. Of course, the kicker is that he uh, chopped the drug dealer up and uh, disposed of him that way. <laughs> ah, wonderful upstanding member of society, eh? Yeah. So now, this guy who murdered his drug dealer, chopped him up, is interviewing this autistic kid, supposedly, supposedly autistic, I don't know if the kid's actually autistic. Perhaps you've heard of this kid named Desmond is amazing. I did another video about this kid dancing in a gay bar, dancing and partially stripping for cash. You know, some uh, parents of the year he's got, huh? Uh, so let, let's see this video of this convicted murderer Convict spending the day with a ten year old boy. Welcome to the zoo. Okay, so the one on the left here with the, the freaky bow tie. Creepy looking bastard. Well they're both creepy looking actually. Of course this one's the murderer. This guy here, I don't know what the hell's going on there. <laughs> they're both pretty creepy looking guys, and in the middle is this poor kid. <laughs> and what's that on his eyes? So look at these weird looking eyelashes. This is just bizarre. Very bizarre, and the kid's wearing, uh, I don't know what the hell that is. He's got uh, some Superman pajamas or something on, Wonder Woman maybe, underneath a uh, button-up shirt, lipstick, eyeliner, rouge. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We've entered the Bizarro universe, huh? What the hell is this guy eating? What is this guy eating? What is that in this little tiny cup? Porridge? What, what, what is that? Pudding? Is it pudding? We're still here. We're still having tea in front of us. Tea? What, what is this? Is that a little... Pa that, what, what, what kind of tea? That's a little tiny plastic fake... That's like one of those fake teapots that kids use to pretend pour tea because you can't put super hot water in plastic. It dissolves the petroleum and it releases all this uh, bisphenol A uh, uh, into the uh, liquid. Which is toxic and destroys testosterone. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Maybe they are drinking tea out of it. Tea. What the, what the hell? So for those of you who don't know who Desmond is Amazing is, uh, the kid's anything but amazing, by the way. He's this drag kid whose mother dresses him up as a, a girl, right? And has him perform at various, it seems to be, he's headlining now at a bunch of gay bars for money. And just recently had a GoFundMe page that had 2500 bucks on it that she closed down. So, yeah, she's pulling in the dough all for this progressive nonsense, uh-huh. So, we are going to get down to serious issues. Oh, that's what we What is this guy wearing, by the way? This, this looks like something from the 80s. Remember that movie, what was it, uh, 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 Back to the Future? Throughout the whole movie, Michael J. Fox was wearing this uh, thing that looked like, you know, one of those uh, vests from the 80s that looked like a, a life jacket. <laughs> Good God. Uh, these guys are into retro uh, uh, clothing, huh? Great. Kramer wannabes. Monster pooper. What the hell are these freaks talking about? Okay, so the murderer who, who kills and chops people up is is sidling up to this little ten year old boy. That that's great. Wow. I gave uh, Desmond a monster pooper. Yes. What the hell's a poop? Oh, just what is what is this picture? What what is this picture here? On the wall. Look at this picture. Rohit Rohit Rohitnol. What is this? The date rape drug roofies. They got a picture on the wall behind them with a little kid jumping rope. And uh, uh, on, the, on the fucking picture is, is the word rohypnol for the date rape drug. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 
Who, who, who was letting this kid be alone with these two uh, whack jobs? His mom is there. Holy crap. Well, I mean, I'm glad that there's somebody there to protect this kid from these two freaks but, uh, 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 and the murderer. Uh, but uh, what the hell would... Uh, what kind of mother would let their kids, whether they're alone or not alone, geez, I wouldn't want to be in a room with these two guys. What the hell? The one guy chops people up. I don't know what the other guy is. Jesus Christ. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say these guys are gay. Imagine that. Somebody's got a problem with the drug dealing, chop people up, throw us a bit to the river murderers. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm surprised. Who said that? He didn't hear. Some of the people who watch the show don't like us. They're bad people. Yeah. Yeah, they're bad people. They're getting sitting beside you that they're chops people up. He's not bad. By the way, look at his kid. So bizarre looking. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm sure he chose this outfit. And these weird looking eyelashes. And by the way, his ears, those are real earrings. Mommy pierced the 10-year-old's ears. And of course, she pierced them years ago. Lovely. But the question is, why do they watch the show and they don't like us? Uh, people like uh, car wrecks. You know how you're driving down the road and you see all these bodies lying all over the place? <laughs> Yeah, 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 have all these crash cars, bodies everywhere, you know, or maybe a big poultry truck or a big truck hauling cows, hit another truck hauling pigs, and all the pigs and cows crashed into each other, and you got cow and pig bodies everywhere. It's horrific. So you stop and look. People look at train wrecks. People look at car crashes. It's called rubbernecking, you pinheads. So there's actually tea in that little plastic container. Jesus Christ. So are we making you dress up like this? <laughs> so where did this come from? Was it your own idea? Uh, it's from the public. They also, they, I think they accused his mom of doing the same thing. Oh, so it's Paul's fault? No. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that. It's mom's fault. That's whose fault it is, okay? It's mom. <laughs> this is a train wreck in motion, man. <laughs> Slow motion train wreck. Who's not going to want to watch this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, uh, he, by the way, he was like two years old at the time. So I don't believe any of this shit. And, by the way, if two year olds say they want to do stuff, I want to jump off the roof and fly! Yeah, do you let them do that? No! You saw the episode and you were inspired, so then what happened? What is this? He's got some little weird freaking plastic jewel glued on his face. Are you kidding me, Mom? Boy, he, the, the, the murderer can't keep his hands off the kid, can he? Now, by the way, what is with gay people? Can somebody tell me what is this with gay people and the hand movements? Yeah, they, 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 they do the limp wrist thing, right? I mean, is that like a, a kind of wolf whistle, kind of like a signal to let everybody know they're gay? What is that? I think that's to let everybody know. Hey, if you already can't tell, if your gaydar isn't already telling you that I'm gay, let me, let me do the thing with the wrist, and then you definitely know I'm gay. Fake money. Fake money for a fake girl. And oh, look at the look on the murderer's face. <laughs> That's priceless. Jeez, they're, they're drinking tea out of, uh, out of a plastic tea cup and uh, a plastic teapot, plastic tea cups. Uh, uh, of course they are. Suck up the, that, that petroleum, guys. Suck up those uh, petroleum products. Destroy your ability to uh, create testosterone. Yeah, yeah. Good, good. I, I'm not sure they had that much ability to create it in the first place, though. Let's be honest. Did we eat all the poop? Um, no, there's more. Yeah. So dressing like this was your idea? Um, yes. Now, why would you 
would you do while dressing like this? Don't don't the other kids treat you mean for dressing like this? Mm. No. They don't. If they don't, they should. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. Of course, there's some bullies out there. They're wrong. Who shouldn't bully, right? But if I see a kid like this and I was 10, I'd have to bully him. I'm sorry. Because, you know, bullies, in many circumstances, they act as a counterbalance to the freaks, to the freak shows of the world, right? Help keep things in balance, right? You know, you got bearded ladies walking around. Eh, you know, you need to learn how to use a razor, sweetheart, okay? You got a problem. We understand. But, uh, you know, that's outside what's normal. And we have norms for a reason, okay? And this is certainly not normal. There's a fabric to society. There's cohesion. We want to keep that cohesion. We want to keep it balanced, okay? So bullies can, in many circumstances, serve a necessary purpose. What is this freaking guy eating? What is this stuff? I see some white shit around his lips. What is that? He's eating with that little freaking spoon. Is it pudding? That is very annoying. We don't even know what the hell they're eating. They said they're drinking tea. We don't know that's true. Maybe it's laced with something. This kid looks like he might be drugged up on something. What are you? Stop eating that white shit, whatever it is, pal. It's very, very disturbing. I got a gay guy spoon-feeding himself some pure white goop. It's a little distracting. Enough with the RuPaul. What is it with the RuPaul? I saw RuPaul, okay? Dressed as a man. He's just this old bald dude, okay? An old fat bald dude. I'm guessing he's wearing some kind of girdle when he dresses up as a broad, okay? He's just some old fat bald dude looking for attention, trying to continue to get a paycheck out of this progressive crap. Stop worshiping RuPaul. Just some dude with a mental illness, okay? And not even that. He's just seen he can make some money off this crap. Let's take a break, and we'll be right back. Hey. Break. And now, a word from our sponsor. No. No words from your sponsor. I'm not going to advertise your crap. All right, let, let, let's move on. I can't believe this actually has a sponsor. Are you kidding me? It's got, this channel has like 10... Thousand, I don't even know how this channel has 10,000 subscribers. This is just shocking to me. <laughs> I mean, I guess there's a lot of people out there that like train wrecks. <laughs> but uh, this would get old real quick. I can only watch uh, dead cows and pigs for so long before I get bored with it, right? What is this? P.U.? The P.U. show? Oh, boy, that, that's real creative. Isn't, isn't P.U. something people say when uh, something stinks? Well, <laughs> that's apropos, isn't it? All right, let's uh, let's continue with this this wacky shit. I'm gonna uh, force myself to get through all of it. Michael Alec, the, the murderer. Yeah. Welcome back to the view. Welcome back to the view. Where we get to the amazing Desmond, the world's youngest club kid, and we challenge you, the viewer, to find a younger club kid. Will they find him? Well, what do you mean, yeah, club kid? He's not a club kid. He's 10 years old. He's not going to any clubs. Well, I mean, unless it's a dance on stage, of course. He, he's not allowed to go in as a customer. But apparently he's allowed to go in and strip on stage for cash. Very interesting. There is that. <laughs> okay. Now, we just heard blasphemy coming from this club kid's mouth that you have to be under 20 to join the House of Amazing. And why is that? The House of Amazing, by the way, if I'm correct, is a website that this kid started. <laughs> I talked about this in my most recent podcast. I'll put a link in the description. I suggest you check it out. <laughs> Where this kid is essentially trying to start a dating website for 10-year-old gay trans drag queen kids. Yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of them around. Yeah, that'll make a bundle. Yeah, it'll make a bundle from all the pedophiles that sign up for it and pretend to be kids so they can trap kids like this in a dark, dank building. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you'd like to sign up for that, Mr. Michael Alley, uh, murderer of drug dealers and chopper up of people. <laughs> Who thinks this stuff up anyway? You know this kid didn't come up with this on his own, right? And this is coming from mommy. Who thinks that it, it's a good idea to create a dating site for 10-year-olds to hook up or get together and meet and do whatever, right? I can imagine there's going to be a whole bunch of pedophiles on this house of amazing. 
pretending to be kids, trying to set up meetings, and then kids like Desmond show up, and then they get grabbed, right? And then raped and murdered. Yeah, great idea, Desmond. Okay, may maybe I was wrong about him being autistic. Uh, maybe he is. <laughs> maybe he is. That's the claim, anyway, uh, uh, from his parents. I don't know. Could be. Uh, the entertainer at the box says, you know, Rosewood is the entertainer, the entertainer that um, eats poop and uh, uh, Not everybody can get into Harvard. <laughs> the hell are these guys talking about? These are the most bizarre guys. Oh, boy, guys in their 40s, one a convicted murderer, the other, I don't know what the hell he is, sitting down to talk with a 10-year-old drag kid. All three of them proclaim to be gay, one wearing a friggin' bow tie, Bill Nye the Science Guy bow tie, <laughs> Tucker Carlson in the old days bow tie, and this guy with his 1980s life preserver on. Oh, my God, this is really strange, bizarro stuff. The fuck is this guy eating? What is this? Stop eating that white shit and those fucking cookies, pal. Um, I don't remember. The things I want to do. He's going bald. Look at this. How old is this guy? 50? Is he my age? Look, look, look at this hairline he's trying to cover up. This is just disturbing. You mean your mom, right? You're just her mouthpiece, puppet, parrot. I see, yeah. That's you better change that policy. <laughs> yeah, you better change that policy and let grown, freaky, disturbing, whack job men like us onto your site that is a majority children who identify as gay and may or may not be open to having some private time with us. By the way, I'm a murderer. Do you have a problem with that? Oh, you don't have a no-murderer policy? Great. I can join. <laughs> That's my advice to everybody out there. If you feel like you're thinking about doing it, stop thinking about it and just do it. Yeah! You want to kill people and chop them up? Just do it! And then get out of jail 17 years later and sit down and have tea and crumpets with a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> you did. This guy spent 17 years in prison for chopping up his drug dealer, and now he's sitting down and interviewing 10-year-old kids who are being exploited by both these guys and his mother. <laughs> well, let me know what you think of this nonsense. This bizarre shit. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Please like and subscribe and sign up to follow me on SoundCloud where you can find my podcast. Two plus hours of shit that's funnier than this. You want to talk about red pills? Reality that's raw and real, baby, that could not in any way, shape, or form be posted on YouTube because it's too raw and too real. Well, go check it out. Anyhow, that's it. I'm the realist philosopher and I wish you a good day. Take care.